G'day. In today's video, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and it's got a faulty volume down button. But I'm trying to figure out how to fix this, and it looks like this whole flex cable has been put underneath the screen to make it non-accessible from where I'm trying to get it to. I suspect this has been heavily repaired on before, as it was purchased off eBay with a known fault. And also, it says refurb right here. I'll remove some of this out of the way. I have taken this little rubber bit out here. I'm curious which way this is meant to go to get it out. I'm curious if I can get that button out at all. I'm assuming someone else was curious too. I should be able to lever it out, I would imagine. Like that. There's that out of there. Power button. Why don't I show you guys the parts I'm pulling out? So that comes comes out as one component. Ah. That must be volume up and down here, I would imagine. It's probably running down behind the screen over to here. I see. That looks very, very non-replaceable. Other than if it's not making contact on these three. Hmm. Okay. Rather annoying. Let's dig a bit deeper. I'm going to take this screen out here. It doesn't display. So I'm just going to destroy that and I want to see what happens or where I get to regarding the S21 Ultra volume button. So, don't do what I'm about to do, especially if you've got a good screen. And I'm using this with no heat. The complete opposite of what I'll do, so I'll let it come back in just a second after letting this roast for a minute. So while I'm heating that up, on the cable I can see up, down, ground. And I found if I hold ground and we hold ground and down on this particular one and press volume down, if I move my multimeter over, I now get no resistance. I stick it ground and volume up and push up. Oh, never mind. I go up down and press volume up. I get no resistance using these three pins here. If I get back my original one, great to put the button back in. They're clicking just fine. If I go up, down, no resistance, down and ground. Hmm, also getting resistance. Oh, no resistance. Sorry, with that you probably weren't able to see. So we'll just cover it again. So if I stick it on to resistance of sound, There and there, and push volume down, uh, volume up. A bit tricky, sorry. One, two, volume up. Oh, 
No, this is trickier than I thought it was going to be. I should get it before. But essentially, I should be able to hold those two on. Volume down, volume up. Volume up. That's working. Volume down. Shuffle it two to the right. So they are going. So why does this think it's stuck in airplane mode? The next spot to look at would be on the back of the board. These three pins here behind the main camera module. Make sure they're all nice and even. If they're not making full contact, maybe there's an issue there as well. For now I'm going to put this one back together. After I rip the screen out for this one. If it will cooperate. No, it's not. These are well stuck screens, that's for sure. Let's get brutal. Bingo, that's showing me exactly what I want to see. That there is the power flex, the volume up down. Running along here, going down, going through to here. So if you need to replace that cable, you're basically replacing or ripping out the screen to be able to do it. Not quite what we wanted. Knowing that these function, I'm going to put this back together and see what it does. So after extending those pins out a bit further and shuffling around the actual button, I go here. Funnily enough, we've got an issue with the power button now, it seems. Or did I switch it back off? Hmm. Interesting. Slide that down. Ah. So after straightening out the pins and taking the buttons out, putting the buttons back in, we have volume down and volume up. So I'm not sure whether or not the motherboard might have been damaged when it was originally taken out because I did buy this second hand. I suspect that one of the pins might have been slightly bumped and bent down, or the, for the volume down. Or it may have been that the cable needed to be slightly rearranged to get it into the correct position. Overall, if you do have to do a, a volume button replacement on this, it's not looking good for it. Especially if the screen needs to come out, that's a high risk job there of damaging the OLED display. So it's something I wouldn't really recommend doing. So, yeah, that's that. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.